projectors. I've been through a lot of them. For the last two years, I've been using projectors, and since I got rid of my 4K TV, I haven't looked back. My biggest problems with projectors that I had before was the mounting system. Trying to find somewhere to place the projector in my small room has always been a challenge because I have my studio lights and camera gear in my bedroom. It's always blocking the projector, which caused me not to use my regular projectors that often. So in order to fix that, I decided to get a ultra short through projector, which I thought would be the perfect fit for my bedroom setup. The one I opted for was the JMGO 01 ultra short through projector. I just love the overall design aesthetics and it just matches my room very nice, sleek, and minimal. Before we get into the details and specs, let's take a quick look at what we get inside the box. First off first, the unboxing experience is really nice and the box itself feels like real top quality. When you open the box, it's kind of a magnetic lid and the first thing you see is the user manual. Right under the user manual, you get the O1 projector itself and also a box with all the accessories such as the power cable and the remote with a pair of AAA batteries. What makes this ultra short through projector so unique is that it uses technology that allows me to place the projector very close to the wall and still get a screen size of from 60 up to 100 inches, which in turn saves me a lot of space, it's easier to set up, and if someone ever walks into my room, it doesn't interrupt my viewing experience. I placed my projector around 16 inches away from the wall and I still got up to around 76 inches of screen real estate. If I was supposed to put the projector back a bit more, I could get up to 100 inches, way more than my TV and any TV I could afford. I love the fact that the projector has an auto keystone feature as well so I don't have to worry about getting everything in focus and in frame, it does everything for me. Setting up the projector for the first time was fairly simple. It does have a pretty good OS called the Luna OS with built-in apps such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube, HBO Max, Spotify, just to name a few, but I still decided to connect my Google Chromecast or Google Home TV to it for my streaming service. We do have a lot of port selections on the back of the O1, such as two HDMI ports, two USB connections, a LAN port, and also an optical in socket for audio. For those of you who really care about the specs, the O1 has a quad core 4K friendly MediaTek processor, plus three gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage if you ever decide to save movies or TV shows on this. As you might have guessed, you also get Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. The Bluetooth is primarily for the remote control. It also also comes in handy if you just want to blast music from a pair of Bluetooth speakers, but you don't need to because the speakers on the O1 sounds impressively good. It has a very rich and clear audio and a little bit of bass that anyone would appreciate coming from a small device like this. And if you don't believe me, hear it for yourself. So here we are inside my room. It's kind of like everything is like almost all the lights are off, but this is mainly for sound quality. I have my PC on right now. And the projector is already on as you guys can see. So let's just put this mic right beside it so you guys can hear what it sounds like when it's just chilling. So that's when it's chilling. And I said before, the speakers on this thing is crazy good. All right, so let's go. <laughs> this is not even all the way up. Yes, but it'd be kind of weird of him saying it, so. Ah, uh, psychically. Like, no. You're not gonna give it to him? No. He don't. So bad because they just sent me the outside of the building, so I'm like, how do I even know what the inside looks like? And they're all just like super big industrial. So yeah, as you guys can hear it, this thing packs a punch. For streaming and mirroring, you could use the eShare app for either Android or iOS, and also you could use on iOS screen mirroring. But for some strange reason, I couldn't get it to work on my end. 
But if anyone has this projector and for some reason you're watching this video, let me know if that worked out for you down below in the comments. Now, at the end of the day, the most important thing about a projector is how it looks. And so far, this is the best quality projector that has ever laid foot inside my room and also on this YouTube channel. The images are sharp, the colors are accurate, and most importantly, it shows a good representation of skin tones. It also has really good technology that ought to adjust the brightness of the screen depending on how much light is coming into the room, which is really nice to just have that picture perfect image quality. Another thing I like about this projector is how it handles white balance. It does a really good job of not making it too cool or too warm, but if you're still not satisfied with the image quality, you could go into the settings, manually adjust the color profiles on until your heart's content. Also, if you're curious, here's what the JMGO O1 projector looks in different lighting conditions. All right, now in terms of image quality, I have no issues watching anything with this. This is what it looks like, right? I have kind of a couple lights on inside right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn all these off so you can see exactly what it looks in basically pitch black. Okay, so this is with all the lights off and honestly, it just looks brighter and more sharper. As you guys can see, if you're watching a movie, it would be more locked in. And as I said before, I just love the fact that you could just put your projector right up to the dresser as I have it right here. But yeah, this is with all the lights off inside my entire room. It looks really nice and it's kind of dark out as well, so I could keep the curtains open. But let's go ahead and turn on all the lights. Okay, Google, turn on the lights. Boom. So with all the lights on, as you can see, these are like, I have around 10 Philips Hue lights all around the place. So it's kind of hard to see. And this kind of defeats the purpose when it comes on to a home theater system or home theater projector. It will be kind of hard to see, especially because I don't have a screen at the back. It's just onto the white walls. But if I turn the lights down to say, for example, 50%. Okay, so now you could kind of see it a little bit. I still have a couple of lights on over here and there, but this is definitely watchable. And if I'm just supposed to lounge in my bed right here, this wouldn't be an issue. Overall, I'm extremely happy with my new projector setup and if I was supposed to be picky, I would say I would like the projector to be a little bit brighter in daylight, but I think that's what everyone wants from every projector they own. I think if you just needed to save some space and have an uninterrupted viewing experience while using your projector, or even just to create an ultimate home theater experience you wanted for yourself or family, this is one of the best ultra short through projectors you could get for the price. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and if you made it this far, let me know who the real ones are comment down below what do you think about projectors is it better than tvs or just gonna stick with your tv let me know will you try out the projector down below in the comments as always love peace and tweaks signing out